I worked on my game all summer long and have been trying to distill out what makes modern. I've been contemplating doing a blog about this exact subject, transitioning old school me. I grew up as a serve and volley attacking player to a new school. So I started to do a little research. The beauty of the internet is the ability to go back and look at old players. And what I was pretty shocked to find was that the things that Federer's doing have been done for quite some time. The players have taken pieces of what's best back then and put it together. So it's like everybody now has Lendl's forehand. A lot of players have Connor's backhand. And so the game has forced everybody to be doing the most efficient things in all aspects of their game. So somebody give me some ideas about what they think modern tennis is. Number one. Okay, so the strings have changed the game and the ability, the amount of topspin that's been able to be created, but the strokes haven't really changed. Open stance. People agree with that? Yeah. No. So you're, you're all wrong. <laughs> Get them out of here. They're the worst group I've ever seen. Open stance. Is that new? No, it's not. So people would say grips, but that hasn't really changed the technique of the way the ball's struck. Come on, you gotta come with me. It's not the strings, it's not the racket. What is it? That's what we're, we're talking about. What is it? What creates this amazing, long, beautiful look that creates a great shot? It's so interesting what people think they see and what they actually see. Who wants to demonstrate their swing for me? We're gonna take a look at the forehand and so uh, what I want you to do is we're going to create a situation that looks like a modern forehand. You're going to go out, John, step, and swing. And let's see what he does. Pretty good. Good. And again, excellent. Very nice. Is it great or good? Good. Okay, so come on up again. <laughs> Good, you're not off that easily. So, what goes wrong here? The use of the kinetic chain. He transfers, but he does not create elastic energy by separating the power sections of the kinetic chain. So, I'm gonna hit a forehand like you want to. You guys see the difference? Yeah. Watch it from this side. The hips come first. So what is happening here is that the kinetic chain is a series of uh, elastic energies, contractions and relaxations, contractions and relaxations. But he was doing this. So the hip was coming through the same time as the racket. There's no tension to release. So as his hip comes through before, and the racket lags. So you see pictures of Federer. So there's tremendous energy in here. And then it snaps back and comes through. So that's why when Roger stands up, he's mastered this sophisticated skill so well that he can just go. And the ball goes like you can't believe it. Just creating the perfect biomechanical mechanism to hit a great forehand. And it's the same in all sports. This is golf. This is baseball, boxing. That's, this is how the body is meant to work. Don't let people tell you there's a thousand ways to hit a tennis ball. There's a thousand crummy ways to hit a tennis ball. There's one right way.